Hello, hello, hello. Welcome and welcome to day 14 of Teach Yourself Test Automation. I'm teaching myself Selenium Web Driver with Java. Okay, and I hope you're coming along with me on the journey, right? All test analysts, again, I'll keep iterating this. Um, it's time to update your skill sets, right? Because things are becoming more technical now for us testers, right? Um, some people are in the notion that um, test analyst jobs will probably not be here in the future because we don't have developers doing them, right? Anyway, that's the buy. Okay. Thanks for, 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 for tuning in today, dropping by on this video. And today, day 14, we are doing how to identify XPath with parent child traverse relationship, right? A parent child parent child traverse relationship. I'll jump straight right in, right? Because we want this video to be short, right? We want to keep it under the 10 minute mark, right? So remember, if you, if you like what you see, you enjoy this video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, you know, it's interactive, it's collaborative, okay? Thank you very much. Let's jump straight into it. I'll use one of the resources, right? One of the, um, the websites I use as a resource, right? To actually educate myself on, um, on Selenium WebDriver with Java, right? So let's go to Selenium Easy, right? This is one of the resources I use, right? So shout out to the guys from Selenium Easy, right? So let's in, let's inspect this field, right? Hopefully my computer is not going to be that slow today, please. So we inspect this field, and we'll just run through this very quickly, right? Very quickly. So we've inspected this search field, right? And we want to send some. Uh, uh, text into that set into, into that field okay so we have to inspect the field first right and then find find that field and then send some text in there okay so right when we're going to use we are we use a um, parent child traverse right when our attributes here we cannot find a unique attribute right or the attributes there are not static right so that's when we use a parent child traverse now what's a parent child per child traverse if you go along your your html code right when you collapse this right when you collapse this right see how it collapses i collapse that now if i expand that that means that one this one here is a parent to that one right so that's a parent and that's a child okay and that's our code here so what you want to do is a parent child traverse with expert right so if you don't have a unique attribute here where you could just write a straight X path or a unique attribute you could just use to locate this element. So this uh, search field, what you could do is you find a unique, you want, you go to the parent and you find a unique parent, a parent with a unique attribute and then write an X path. And then from that X path traverse down to your object. Okay. The HTML for your object. Okay. So, what we got here is let's see if we go up here we can we can start from here right so we start from here and see if we can get down to here okay so the trick i use now straight off on here is control f right and you get this find by str a string selector or expert right so as soon as you type your expert there you know it's, if it's correct or not right so what we do is we go first of all we write our x path right so it's backslash backslash right and then the tag name so the tag name where we want to start is let's inspect that again so we get back to the right place the tag name where we want to start is form right so you see that form right so we type form in here and that's highlighted right and you can see there sorry if you're not able to see this but form is the tag name right and the attribute is class right so we open our square brackets iterate we are using the xpath syntax right iterate the attribute which is class equals to right a single quote open single quote close and then we close our square brackets okay 
and in between these quotations we want to put our class attribute right i mean our class value sorry our class value so if we put that in here we should be able to have identified the x path to that parent parent right so we have identified the parent with the unique x path right and from that parent we should be able to traverse right down to our desired object in order to locate that okay so what do we do we use the tags and backslashes that's what's going to help us to traverse right down to our desired object okay so after getting the x path all you have to do is backslash and the next the next tag is dev so you go dev dev right and the next tag again is dev so you go another backslash and dev right another backslash and the next tag is dev you go dev sorry you go dev and backslash again and we have arrived at our desired location our desired element or object you see when you hover over that that box is highlighted right so here we want to put the tag for our desired element html so it's input and there we are we have successfully traversed from our parent right down to our child and we used we can use this x path now right to actually send text into that search field okay so um, that's that is simple as that right and we can do a live example we can open my eclipse very quickly hopefully the eclipse doesn't take too long to load i should have opened this already before i started the video it's rather slow thank you launch we'll write when we get into the eclipse we'll just write that very quickly okay um we'll, we'll, we'll do a test test case and write it very quickly because i don't want this video to be too long thank you <laughs> So you know by now every test case you write has three common three common um, lines right so the first one is to for your uh, set your properties right so the chrome so you can launch the chrome browser the second one is to uh, set drivers and object so you can get all your methods for your um, um, web, web browser um, web driver methods to use the libraries right and then the third one is to locate the to get the the, um, the URL that you're going to use, right? So a BBC website or as we're using today, um, selling music. Okay, come on, guys. Right. So we are there finally, right? So this is just going to be quick. Let's get into a te test case. That's if the laptop allows us, right? It is rather slow. Right. So new class. We'll call this a uh, parent child parent child and we take on public static void main and we'll go to our shell script we we'll quickly go over to another test case we'll copy right down to here so we'll copy those three steps i've just talked to you about which is common to every any of your test cases right and we paste that in here what you want to do is you want to change this i want to change this um url because we're going to be using here we're going to be coming here right so on that in there so that's now we travel i mean we arrive at the, the selenium easy website right so all we want to do now is driver dot get and I want to find that element by our parent child traverse x path we've just done right so 
dot get oh no this is find right what you find dot find find element by dot when you use x pass right and in this x pass we want to double open and close and we want to go to our window where we save our parent child Travis x pass and it's rather long right then dot send keys right open close double quotations give right we just write given and if we run that right click run as java application and we okay that okay let's see if we send we've successfully located that with our parent child a x traverse expert right so let's see it's rather slow the video is in 11 minutes and counting so this is our range to keep it in right so after this i'll just say bye and please so we've managed to launch that we want to write in here okay there we go give right so we have successfully seen how to identify an expert with the parent child traverse relationship right that's what we used to identify our object and or element which was our search search box in the um, selenium easy website and we sent some text into that checkbox i mean into that uh, text field right so thank you very much for watching i hope this video was helpful to you if it's helpful to you uh, comment like share um, and uh, engage okay and also drop a uh, drop below uh, this video and subscribe to the youtube channel right and uh, engage with the channel and support the channel okay thank you very much and uh, see you day 15 thank you we